had to go to Medina, south of House of Jewelry. They so had it's a one of her best times. <laughs> My best Choosing time. the ring. Mm -hmm. This is Miss Bandy. This is the bride, Rose, nice and our groom, you. Alan. And Hi. she's going to be helping us pick out some bridal sets for you today. So let's see what she has. Oh, goody. They had a variety of different um, wedding bands from white gold to yellow gold and a mixture of both. If you want um, one row, two rows of stone, one rose of stone, if you want it clustered. And you don't have to worry about the size because we resize our rings. It takes like 20 to 30 minutes process to have it size, so you don't have to worry about the size, it's just what you like. And you guys are lucky because Medina's actually has one of the largest band selections in the country. That's what I'm lucky So you're going to see a variety, like she was saying, yellow gold, white gold, and mixtures. When we, we had, went we in initially, we had a plan that we wanted yeah. white gold, or a mixture of white and yellow, but more white. Yeah. But when we went in and we saw the choices, it was like, you know, she found the one almost immediately that she yeah, wanted. Yeah, the one that caught my attention. Yeah, and it was yellow gold. This was what caught my attention. Okay, <laughs> so that is beautiful. That is a beautiful choice. Mm -hmm. right. Try it. And like we were talking, Rose, about how p things are getting less traditional, you don't have to have a matching set. So the bride's ring doesn't necessarily have to match exactly to the groom's ring. Mm -hmm. So you guys can get stuff that you like mm -hmm. versus something that matches. Um, I think well, for me, um, I know that that can happen, but I think I'd prefer him matching. to have a matching ring. Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Okay, you like the white gold? Yeah. And this is the this is your band, and this is her too. Oh my god! <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. <fits. laughs> After a second thought, I think this one looks better than that. Because oh. <laughs> at first I was like all into white gold. And try on a variety this, of rings. This looks good at this one. Mm -hmm. This is a man one too. Yeah. This is an insert. This is an insert. This is the engagement okay, ring yeah. is inserted in the band. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love this. You don't so like this? This is huh? imagined for that. You don't like it? <laughs> Sorry, Alan. It's not my choice. It's not your choice. Like we said, it's the bride's <laughs> wedding and you're invited. <laughs> <laughs> but then the thing is that I could get this and you could get that. Yes, yes. that can be done. And they still because match. this is they almost the same thing. Mm -hmm. I could get this and you could get that. Mm -hmm. True? And it still matches, yes. Because I really like this one. See, I don't like too much um, mm -hmm. okay. well, I, sparkle. I, I, I didn't like too much sparkle either, but this one, just something about it. Okay. I like this. Mm -hmm. So this one, this can go with that. That's no problem. It's all what you guys like. Mm -hmm. This that. And, that. and that. This more looks like a man one. Mm -hmm. True? Yeah. This would be good. Um, and then for me, it's <laughs> this one. Isn't What's the popular one? style this year for wedding bands? Is there one band that's more popular than others? Yes. Well, right now, the thing is, out of the male, they like their band with a little bling. Okay. Yeah, so everybody's into their band. One used to be plain, right. you know, just right. plain, simple. Now everybody wants their band with stones. The men so want some yes. bling, too. <laughs> they, want, okay. they want to bling with the females. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> majority sets, they come with, you know, the, main, the male band with a little bling on it. Right, okay. Yes. I think I think I will like this. So I keep seeing you, Rose, go back to that same set. <laughs> I think she, so that's the style and the preference you like. And you want me to do this. And then how about you? Do you like that, Alan? Huh? I think I like that. What are you? I like that. Okay, try that one on. And you know what, that still matches because you still have that yellow gold and that little bit of sparkle. I think that says you. Yeah, this is more me because I don't like too much. So put them together. You can see that they still. Put that on. It's this one. Oh, yes. You can see that they still, they still match. Yeah, they were so much. Yeah. You like that one, baby? So try on the one that you like too, Alan. And let's see. And put your hands together. What do you think? Hmm? 
<laughs> look good, huh? I like this. A bit bigger, but I like it. Okay. Oh, that's me. And that's definitely Rose. That's definitely <laughs> Our choice is here, mm -hmm. so it's just for you guys to get your measurement and we can have that done and ready set for you guys in like 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try an 11 and a half. That, then yeah. that wouldn't come off with when I wash my hands. Okay. The other one might come off. Actually, I actually wanted to stay there, so... <laughs> yeah. 11. Okay. Maybe 11 will work. Okay. We'll have it sized for you. And um, since it's only yours gonna size, it'll be like 15 minutes, so... Okay. It's not gonna be any problem with that. So, my congratulations okay. again. <laughs> and you're happy? I'm happy? Everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. you big thank you. I'm very happy. <laughs> A big thank you to the Dinas, and let's head out to our next appointment. Okay. Thank, thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. To Hofius, and we were supposed to take a look at the decorations, decorations. for our wedding for the reception, right? And we have the floor manager, Miss Williams, with us to show us around. This is Alan, our groom, and this is Rose, our bride. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we're actually very lucky because Hofius has decorated a Christmas tree for you using your theme and using your colors, so we can kind of get an idea of all the different decorations that Hofius offers. You guys are really lucky because a lot of brides think that decorations have to be specific for weddings, but you can use other things to decorate your wedding. So what we're going to be using is some of their Christmas decorations, and we're going to take the Christmas decorations and make your winter wonderland. So I was thinking we can use some of these flowers and some of the branches to actually make your centerpieces. So instead of using fresh flowers, we're going to make your winter wonderland using things like this. Well, let's go ahead and take a look around and make some notes on what we need to make your winter wonderland come true. All right, here we have the silver. These are the snowflakes, different flowers. Oh, these would look great. Mm -hmm. This really fits within your theme. We have the bells. And the bells. Okay, nice. so I love this because what we're going to do is we're going to take Christmas decorations and we're going to incorporate them into your theme. And Hopius is a great place to come because they have a huge selection of any color you can imagine and all sorts of different patterns and varieties. Great, here's the gold you like, Alan. Yeah, these are the ones that... This one. So this is actually the hot color for Christmas, right? This is yes. the new color. So this is the new hot color for Christmas. So we're lucky because it fits within it's your our theme. theme. Yeah. yeah. And we can even keep some of the decorations and put them on your Christmas tree after the wedding. <laughs> yeah. But hopefully this is great because they're always coming up with the latest and greatest. So you're not just getting the same old ornaments for your tree. They have the yes, hot colors every I'm year. Just seeing these decorations, I've never seen them. Before. Yeah, these so are these all colors. new, and Hopius brings everything in. So now we've got the, the white. white. Wow. The white ones. Look at the um, snowflakes there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Yeah, so what we can do is we can have white tablecloth and then we can use this instead of a color on top to kind of give it that shiny, iridescent mm -hmm. feel. And this is great because it's multi-purpose. We can use it for the tables, we can wrap vases in it, we can use it for a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. And the one I'm thinking for the head table is actually that big one right there. So we'll have that coming out as the head table. Yeah, and we'll use a mix of the flowers, um, the twigs, all the different stuff. So every table will kind of have its own feel. So when you have your wedding, you ask people to bring gifts. And sometimes people bring more than one gift. So maybe you ask for a toaster and three of your friends bring toasters. So you have three toasters for your wedding. A great way to um, solve that problem is to come to a store like Hofius and set up a wedding registry. 
And do you do different price ranges? Like if someone didn't want to spend $100, do you have cheaper gifts? Yes, we do. Good idea. So we're waiting for the register. I never, yeah. <laughs> Great, so let's take a look around and you guys can kind of pick some things out that you like for your registry. Miss Williams will take notes and then we'll set that up for your guests. Sure, good no idea. Problem. to do a registry because you find stuff that wouldn't normally be stuff you would buy on your own. So Hopius has a huge selection. They have sandwich makers, Belgian waffle makers, whatever you think you might need or want for your home, you can put it on your registry. Miss Williams, what are some typical things that brides usually put on a registry? Um, like a waffle maker, a cake mixer, things that they need in their home. And like we were talking, the registry is great because you can pick out the dinnerware that you like mm -hmm. and then your guests know what you want instead of them coming in here and guessing mm -hmm. and picking something you might yeah, not necessarily like in your house. So, so is there anything in this aisle, Rose, that you think you'd want to put on your registry? Yes, I have seen a few. And for example, I like this one here. The five Okay, piece. let's put that on there. Yes, this one. I like that one. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Good. It's your, <laughs> your registration. I know, right? Um, so here you have rose things for entertaining. These are to put different snacks in when you have guests okay. over or trays to bring out drinks for your guests. Down here you have chargers. Okay, something like this. That's good. Nice. And Rose and Alan too, you don't have to get traditional stuff for a registry. Hofius has Hardware, what all kind of things do people put on registries? Well, usually um, the guys, they pick out tools, the girls go with the housewares. <laughs> so it gives you a oh, variety of gifts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can look at tools, they've got snorkel and dive, they've got paint mm -hmm. stuff too. They normally put those things there too? Yes. They Whatever are. you think you might need <laughs> for your house, that way guests can get, like I said, what you want. Because I was looking at something over here, but... <laughs> to put your keys in... When you're not at home, mm -hmm. so we always lose keys. Yeah, and like I said, Ellen, it's great to be have a place at Oh, Hopius. oh, oh. You see what I'm saying? Oh, you don't know. Uh, you, I you, didn't you, understand. What I, did you think okay. it was? Okay. Oh, so you put you in put the, the oh. keys in there so that you could leave it at home and nobody can steal it. Ah. <laughs> Instead of putting it, you know, under a stone or under. You put so it this there. we can put on your registry, and it's stuff like I said that's not traditional. Yeah. You need one of these, right? This is an all in one. Nice. You need one of those, right? Do you really like tools? Well, <laughs> I mean, if there's something wrong, you know. Every guy should have one of those. That's a great yeah. experience. They have different, um, a, a variety of different Christmas ornaments from white, blue, gold, different colors. It was so amazing. We got, you know, great service. Um, everything was good there. Excellent. Uh, we began doing our inventory too for, for the yeah, wedding, right? For the wedding gifts. They told us we could do an inventory at their store. So if any, for our guests want to know what we what we need or what we want, they could just go to Whole Fields and, yeah. and check the inventory, right? Mm -hmm. After that, we went to the princess, the princess. princess. Um, we were. We had to go to the to, to, the, to the salon. Yeah, to the salon. The Mapis, that was the for Mapis me. salon. Yeah. And we're going to be speaking with Kumari. Hi, Kumari. Hi. This is my bride, Rose. This is Kumari. And Kumari is going to be doing your hair, makeup, and nails. Okay, great. So you have different designs of nails, and here you have different um, styles. Yes. Okay. And what's the best way for her? Would it be to bring a picture in to show you, or if if she has? I a have a lot of hair. Yeah, we like that. If she has a specific way she wants her hair done, that would be good for her to bring in a picture of the hairstyle that she is Okay, well I don't really have a specific style. If you have different books, a different style, maybe I can choose something from sure. there, something new. Yeah. Something different. How long does it take to do her hair, makeup, and nails? Well, um, for a bride, we maybe give her like three hours to get ready to make sure it's perfect. Okay, for a wedding starting at two, what time do you recommend she starts? Her wedding is starting at two. I recommend she gets.
get started from in the morning, like when she wakes up. Okay. Okay, like they would give her like when she wakes up. Okay, so she's staying here the night before, so we will be down here to see you at 11. Sure. We're very excited and we thank Mafi so much for giving her the ex full bridal experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. We had to, to meet go. with the photographer at Princess as well, yeah. uh, Mr. Richard Holder, yeah. who's a great photographer. I've seen a lot of his works, um, you know, especially at um, the club shots that he takes on Facebook. Mm -hmm. He has some club shots that he takes, and I've seen a lot of them. And I'm so excited for that one, though. Like how he says, he he can do different other, you know, different portraits and other stuff. And I'll, you know, take him. He was very mics, informative. Yeah. I'm thinking already about some of the areas we could use to isolate you guys to do some portraits. And um, as soon as I find out exactly the time, um, I'll anticipate the lighting for outside. And then I'll tell you what we could do inside when you come in afterwards for the reception itself, you know. Um, I will pose you guys, I'll help you with that. You don't have to worry about things like that. However, I would like to encourage you guys to go ahead and, um, you know, look at the internet. Um, it's a great resource. It has tons of wedding images, not just mine, but lots of other photographers from all over the world doing great stuff. Look at everything. Extract some of them that you like. Let's start to communicate with each other. I'll give you my card before we leave. And um, send me what you like to see. You see, the, the good thing about that is it gives me an idea of what you want, what you would like to capture. And um, I don't necessarily, I'm not interested in copying it, but as a professional, um, I will be able to look at those images and break them down by elements and then I could actually just, you know, kind of recreate something like that, but original, because I'm very interested in creating original things, you know. I've been talking with Rose and Alan about different kinds of photography styles, yes. and they do want to do those portraits, but they are really concerned in getting more casual images. Yeah, so they want more of... Capturing the moment. In the moment. Yeah, yeah well listen, that, that is, um, we could kind of, um, this is why it's good to kind of anticipate what you, want, what you like. For example, um, sending me these things by, uh, over the internet. This, this gives me an idea of what we could recreate. Because sometimes the natural poses are not necessarily natural moments, you know, that just are just taken, they're recreated. But once we understand what you want, the, the objective at the end of the day is to give you a collection of images that um, give you a variety of feelings. You know, some of them, they, they would seem very intimate. Some are just, you know, with everybody, more documentary, portraiture. It, it could be a variety of different things, you know. I like to see like those images that have color and black and white mix in them. Those are really pretty, like when like only her dress would be color and then the rest black and white. Yeah. That's something that I like to see. I don't know if she likes to see it, but... After we have all these images in front of us, um, all the digital files to look at, then um, I could help you select the ones that we could do these kinds of um, post-processing in Photoshop where we do isolated color sepia, black and white, or a combination of effects. Anything that you want is possible at that point. You might not be thinking about it right now, but in the future it'll be shots that you really want to remember. You getting your hair done, your final zipping of the dress, the final, because to me that's when the bride starts to build the anticipation. Mm -hmm. And if you can capture that on film, you can actually feel what she's feeling right before the wedding. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to this. It's right around the corner, you know, so you nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous. No, I can do it. I'm ready. But the girls usually are, you know. You have to be there for her. Get used to it. <laughs> Great then. So, take it easy. Keep in touch. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And then after that, that was your place. <laughs> yeah. I think, um, Travelers? Travelers. Travelers. Well, yeah. More my place. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan from Traveler. So Jordan, what do you have for us? Okay, um, well Channel 5 followed you throughout your challenge and now Traveler is going to be with you for your reception, your party. What we're going to offer at your party is two of our newest products. 
the Crystal Light Gold Rum and the Baron Gin. Now these are very high quality products at reasonable prices. We have this Gold Rum, it's very smooth, light and goma free. Cheap in price but very good in quality. The um, new Crystal Gold Rum, you know, um, what, caught my, what caught my attention was um, they stress on the word goma free and I was like, are you serious? Really interesting, interesting rum, yeah. and also the, the um, new gin. Now we all know Belize, here in Belize, we do not produce gin. However, we get the gin extract from France. Pure, real, high quality gin, and the quart goes for 18 and a liter for 20. If you taste this, you're not going to drink any more imported gin. It's really good, top quality. Yeah, so you can still have that margarita that you were talking about, but we're going to make a rum margarita. So we can use Traveler's products, but we can use a little bit of blue food coloring so you can get the rum arita for your winter wonderland. Yeah. Great. Nice. Well, thank you so much. We'll take a little look around here so you guys can see because Traveler, or Traveler's offers more than rum. They offer such a wide variety of products. We can kind of look around and see if there's anything else you guys think you might want to have. sampled the goma free one. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It was nice. Do you have I any mean, goma? No, I, I just sampled it. But <laughs> I'm just <kidding. laughs> I just sampled it. Yeah, but it. Um, they uh, they have a variety of different liquors. They have wine. I think they, I think he said like 28 or about, 20, that. about 28 yeah. different varieties, mm -hmm. which I didn't really know. I mean, as I think a lot of Belizeans don't know that travelers and really since, make a lot yeah, of Yeah, since Christmas, they, um, they have um, the rum that they use for the black cakes. They have rum popos. They have, you know, a mixture of different other um, other liquors. And um, as I tried a different sample, you tried the pina. Uh, the, 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 what um, was it? It's Panther Ripper. Panther Ripper, yeah. And yeah. that was that was nice too. Yeah, that was nice. No matter what we go through, I'll be there to hold you. Meeting with Father Flowers was great. Mm -hmm. um, I've always wanted to meet him actually because I've heard I saw him marry the last couple and you know, and he was very precise and right to the point. The session did not last that long, right, baby? Mm -hmm. As you know, you're about to enter into a phase that is not a competition. This is the real McCoy. What you, why you want to be married? I mean, in front of everybody. And you know, well, as a matter of the world, because that's yeah. really what it is. Well, the part about being in front of everybody wasn't part of the plan originally, you know. Okay, but, okay. But the opportunity came up, so we said, well, you know, we're getting married anyway, so let's So that the that competition way. was not uh, the it goal. It wasn't the forefront. Okay. It was, we are getting married. Like okay. What you, what, 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 what you? Well, for me, um, I have always wanted <laughs> to be, you know, on the TV showing everyone that I'm getting married. Okay. Um, for me, getting married is something special. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a sacred thing for me. It's a sacrament, and I, you know, um, it's a big step for okay. us. And I am, I am more than likely ready for that. You're ready. So that this, as I, I love to say to people, this is not a game. You're not gonna play a game. And you know, when you were a child, I'm sure, as a young lady from San Ignacio, <laughs> um, you used to play house. I am sure of that. <laughs> and when you got angry and couldn't have your way, you would knock down everything and, 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 and call it off. You can't do that in this scenario, okay? This is a commitment of two people for life. It comes with a sense of <laughs> dedication and commitment, a sense of great love and respect, and it is a process. You've got to grow in this thing. You know, there's a song which says, um, 
each day with Jesus is better than the day before, well, this is how this has got to come as you grow in this process. Now, the number of things that are going to happen in this process, but for it to really, you have to be first and foremost committed to God and then committed to each other. That is the premise on which you can build this. Because if you love him more than God, you're going to be in trouble. And if you love her more than you come to know God, you're going to be in trouble, serious trouble. And while it will be smooth sailing for a while, when all hell break loose, you will think that you're getting crazy. So it's a commitment to God and to each other. When is the date planned for the, the date of the marriage? The 15th of December. The 15th of December. So every day after the 15th, it's not about me anymore, it's about us. You've got to, and vice versa. And so even when your friends say, boy, you know, let's stay back and serenade Frank. You've got mm -hmm. to say, well, listen, I've got to first check with my wife. And of course, in this community, they will say, well, something is wrong with you. you say, no, 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 that's a commitment that you are about to make. Now, if you're willing to make that commitment, then you're on the road to being ready to be wed. I know I, I love her and I am really ready for this because it's not like we have just met. Okay. We have been together for seven years. Okay. We have a five-year-old son. Okay. Um, and she is my inspiration, right? She is the one that has been through me, with me, through thick and thin, through, because we are not perfect. And we have had problems, a lot of problems. Okay. Um, mostly because of me. Okay. okay. And um, she stuck there by my side and... She loved you so much that she decided yeah. to... She decided to so stay. Hold on. Yes, share with what, what, what you see, what you're going to bring to this relationship. Despite you, everything that we have been through, like how he says, um, <laughs> it's difficult. Huh? I know. I know it's difficult. So don't. Um, don't. I know it's difficult. He but didn't really know us, and he got to the root of what our only problem is at this point, which is jealousy. jealousy. <laughs> and he like got he to the root the of it. Yeah. Uh, he didn't really. So he he knows what he's yeah. talking about. Who's a jealous one? <laughs> you think that she is or I think and she, she says is. that you are? Why would you say that she is a jealous one? Because, um, I mean, she, I, I can't have any female friends to begin with, right? Is, um, that, is that so? Is that so? Um, yes, it's true, but um, I know the way how Alan is and he chooses <laughs> his friends. So that he is not to have any other, he is not to have any female friend at all. Um, the way how I have told him, okay, you can have friends, but he's like, he's like, all right, certain friends have to like, have to meet this standard. For now, me, being friend is like okay, you okay, have like, friends, because, you know. That's because I'm gonna, I'm saying. gonna be very honest with you. If that, if you're gonna put that criteria right away, immediately you're gonna have problems. While jealousy is, is an integral part of who we are, if you allow it to control you, you can destroy yourself. You can destroy your marriage. And eventually what happens is that you cut yourself off from everybody and anybody. You've got to see whether the, the jealousy is destructive or whether it is instructive. If it is destructive, he can't talk to anybody. No young lady best come to the house and say, can I see Alan? Because that is, that is all hell gonna break loose and you will be unhappy. Also, what is gonna happen is that you will be so fearful of him. So you can't, he can't get out of your eyesight because something is going on and you don't want to live a life of unhappiness that doesn't exist. Many times, you know, you have to be very careful because while jealousy is justified in terms of our makeup, it needs to be controlled, otherwise it's going to control us. And a lot of 
families, destroy their relationship. And this is the reason we say I began by saying, remember, it's about God, it's about trust to each other, but you've got to first trust you and yourself. He will not be able to be with you 24 hours for the rest of your life, every day, and vice versa. So you, and but Alan, I also think that it's important that you have got to learn to build trust. So in other words, you've got to be able to tell your friends, listen, see, I'm spoken to, that's why I wear the ring. This tells that I am spoken for. In other words, I'm now owned by somebody, you know. And, but because if you don't have friends, both of you are going to live a very miserable life. Believe you me, you will not even trust your shadow because something is going on. So that is one of the areas that We've got to work at how can you build this trust in each other so that jealousy does not destroy. Notice, I didn't say that you're not to be jealous. I say it must not be destructive. And if you're able to do that, but then you see Ellen, I hope you heard what she said. She know a lot about you, <laughs> which means that you give the impression that she can't trust you. Like I said before, you know, we are working on, on that and we have like the like the blueprint for the house of jealousy. <laughs> you know, we have the blueprint done and we're just working on we're working from there. Building up our marriage trust, the right trust. way with trust and and female friends mm -hmm. and male friends. <laughs> you know, so you must never create the environment whereby your partner can't trust you. Otherwise, you both live in fear. And when you live in fear, you're unhappy. And when you're unhappy, the relationship suffers. And that's not what you want in this relationship. We're getting there. And like I told her, no, I'm getting married on TV. So everyone will know I'm married to you. And there's no reason after that, I mean, what more could I do to show you that I love you and it's you that I want? Mm -hmm. And that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs>